Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Ms Frances Hume, Development Officer at Interfaith Scotland. Frances. Presiding Officer, Members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. I am particularly delighted to be able to address you during Scottish Interfaith Week, when over 50 events have been organised by local people, faith communities, interfaith groups, educational bodies, and organisations to promote and celebrate the multi-faith and multicultural nature of Scottish society. The theme of Scottish Interfaith Week this year is religion and the media. The media plays an increasing important role in people's lives, and many people are influenced by what they read, see, and hear. Media reporting can have a powerful effect on attitudes in our society through its portrayal of people of different faiths and ethnicities, both positive and negative. This year, we are exploring how we can share the positive stories of faith and interfaith work and challenge some of the negative reporting and stereotypes about people of different faiths. This is ever more pertinent with some of the political rhetoric that has been heard in recent times on this island and overseas. When the people of Scotland can be heartened that uh, Scotland had less hate crimes reported as a result of the Brexit vote, but we cannot be complacent in our continuous effort to create a Scotland where mutual trust, respect and understanding form the basis of our relationship with others. I am reminded of the quote attributed to Edmund Burke that the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil <coughs> is for good men and women to do nothing. We have just had Remembrance Sunday and as the collective living memory fades from the two world wars, I am struck that if we don't learn from our history, we may mindlessly repeat it. Last week, the religious leaders of Scotland and members of Interfaith Scotland met with the First Minister at an Interfaith Summit. We discussed how faith and interfaith engagement with young people contributes to community cohesion. I have witnessed how bringing people of different faiths into schools can reduce the demonising of the other, and how that face-to-face -face contact and dialogue can turn potential enemies into friends. I first became involved in interfaith dialogue when I attended an interfaith youth retreat on Holy Isle off the coast of Arran. I found there a group of enthusiastic young people from all faiths who had a passionate commitment to make a positive difference in the world. I found that we are all interconnected and share common values. In that spirit, may we all challenge fears and suspicion when we see them and become a positive and united force for change in society. Thank you.